Hi folks, Dr. Ed Beyer. Today we're talking about autoimmune disease and I kind of want to spend a few minutes going over some of the basics of autoimmune disease. We talked about how, and number one, how the gut is really the source of a lot of immune, uh, the gateway to a lot of immune and autoimmune problems. Uh, today I just want to go over some facts, okay, because you know people come to me chronically sick all the time and many of these folks have an autoimmune, autoimmune disease process. What I mean by that is their immune system is attacking uh, has lost tolerance to their own tissue, so it's attacking their own tissue. They're forming antibodies or immunoglobulins against their own tissue, and the immune system should not be doing that. And we know in the scientific literature that there are certain triggers to that, and from a functional medicine perspective, I mean, I want to get these people better. I got to figure out what's causing their immune system to do that. But uh, some basics here. It affects over 50 million Americans. That's like one in six and it affects over one in three females. So it's more prevalent in the, in the female gender. Uh, it's the leading cause of death in females over the age of 65. A very, very difficult, slow progressing chronic illness and very debilitating. All autoimmune diseases are progressive. The, there are over a hundred different types of autoimmune diseases. It, it depends on what tissue type that it attacks. So they give different names for these different autoimmune diseases, but the process is the same the immune system's attacking the tissue and they just give it a different name and what, what we're interested in is why the immune system would do that. And when you are autoimmune against one tissue the scientific literature shows that you have a high probability that you're eventually going to be autoimmune against multiple tissue sites. We run a test uh, by Cyrix Labs on some of our patients to determine how many tissue sites that their immune system's attacking. Some other information, the time between uh, when we get an autoimmune reaction, in other words, the time between when the immune system actually attacks the tissue and when we actually start to feel the effects of that is 12 years. This is, there's been, uh, this is out of the scientific literature. So the earlier we can detect this, the earlier we can get at what's driving the immune system and we can prevent a lot of problems. So early detection, just like with any chronic illness, is the key. 12 years. It's uh, severely underdiagnosed. Most people live with an autoimmune disease process even after hitting that 12-year point where they start to get symptoms, and it, then it takes a while for them to even get diagnosed. And even when they are, traditional medicine doesn't really have a whole lot of answers besides just suppressing the whole immune system. Traditional medicine treatment of autoimmune disease versus functional medicine approach are on the opposite ends of the spectrum. Traditional medicine is interested in, in really kind of helping a person with their symptoms, which is understandable, and we are interested in knowing the cause. And there are multiple causes, hundreds of reasons of why the immune system can start to form antibodies against our own tissue to autoimmune disease in the scientific literature. From a functional medicine perspective, this is what we identify on our patients. Once we identify and eradicate them, we can put the autoimmune disease into remission. There's no cure for it because if they stop living the things that we teach them, their autoimmune disease process is just going to pick right back up. But we can put it in remission. I'm Dr. Byer. I hope that helps. Have a great day.